Hello, and this is Philip Keokio in Sarasota, Florida, and this is my solution to the Gulf oil spill. It's called evaporation, absorption, and burn. So here's the Gulf of Mexico. Nice clear water. Of course, it's been a dead zone for quite a while, and there's no oxygen in there. But the big thing about oil spills is evaporation. Evaporation can cause a lot of the oil to disperse as long as the winds blowing but the Gulf of Mexico is very flat there's not much evaporation so what I'm proposing is to aerate the surface of the water by putting uh, hoses on the backs of boats little compressors and the oil company owns thousands of these things and a hose with a diffuser head at the back and you just turn on the pump the surface bubbles up and uh, adds oxygen to the water but more importantly when oil gets onto a surface and here's the oil spill there's there's a few million barrels there there you go you can see it's all in globs but what'll happen is it'll turn into a slick as it sits there it'll just coagulate together and, and gradually come together and become this big slick so but what happens is the Gulf of Mexico is uh, it's not very active right now. There's not much turbulence. There's not much uh, going on. And we'll just add a little more. This is this is your basic uh, chainsaw oil. I'm not going to go out and buy oil or anything right now. So what we want to do now is create turbulence. As this oil slick, you can see it pulling together now. As this slick gets bigger, I propose that by adding oxygen to the water, we're going to create more surface area. pretty simple. It's cheap to pump air and what that does it creates more surface area. 10, 20, 30 times more surface area for it to evaporate and I smelled kerosene in the air just the other day when the wind was blowing from the northwest. Now I saw a couple guys on TV that had a solution where they took uh, grass uh, clippings. Now there's millions of people cutting their lawn this week and if they would just bag them up and put them on a truck and, and mail the bales to the Gulf of Mexico, these same boats that are pumping air down into the water to create this uh, increased turbulence could also throw out bales of, this, uh, of your lawn. So here's, here's a lot of lawn and what lawn does is uh, soaks up things because oil attracts itself to plant material and these two guys are on TV and you might have seen it. It's a very good demonstration. Uh, just by skimmers is not too good but here you got this stuff and, and since there's not much wind it's not really going to do that but if you add air more surface area is being attracted to that plant material now what's cool about this is you could then come in with a net and round this stuff up and if you notice here's the net and there goes the oil now of course you want to add keep adding some uh, add some more but add some more water it'll keep evaporating and since oil stops the oxygen going into the water by adding the oxygen of the air into the water column you're now bringing back the um, dead zone for, and create a habitat for fisheries so we're going to not only get rid of the oil we're also going to create a better environment for increasing the fisheries which would bring back all our jobs and even bring them back even greater someplace. so the trick is put some compressors on the backs of all these thousands of boats pump some ho put some hoses add some air to the bottom, pump some, pump some air down, and then throw out bales of lawn clippings that everybody sends. Millions and millions of bags of lawn clippings should arrive at the Gulf on trains, planes, automobiles, everything. Put them on recreational boats, big boats, little boats, and start dumping them out there to soak up all the oil and add oxygen at the same time. The oil company's got thousands of compressors. Get those compressors, get some hoses, get some air back into the water column, and bring the fishery back.